To balance the equation KClO4 plus Al, let's add the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one potassium, one chlorine, four oxygens, and one aluminum atoms. On the product side of the equation, we have one potassium, one chlorine, three oxygens, and then two aluminum atoms. Let's leave the aluminums to last because we can put any coefficient in front of here to get the aluminums balanced and it won't affect the other compounds. So we'll leave the aluminums for last and then we have the oxygens. So often when I have an odd number, I'll double it to get it to be an even number, but that would just give me six and then still have a problem balancing the oxygens. So I'm gonna do a little trick here. I'm gonna flip these numbers. So the three here for the oxygen, I'm gonna put that in front of the KClO4 and then the four for the oxygen, I'll put that in front of the aluminum oxide. So now I have the four times the three oxygens. That gives me 12. And then I have the three times the four oxygens. And that gives me 12. So I've balanced the oxygens. But I have to update everything else because the three, it applies to everything. And this four, it applies to everything here. So I have one potassium times three. That gives me three. One chlorine times three. That gives me three chlorine atoms. We've already done the oxygens. We have 12. And then on this side of the equation here, we have aluminums, two times the four. That gives us eight aluminum atoms and then three times the four. We already did that with the oxygens. So the oxygens are balanced and we're actually pretty close to balancing this equation. Let's fix the potassiums here and that should fix the chlorines too because we have three potassiums on this side, just one here, three chlorines, just one here. So we'll put a coefficient of three in front of the KCl. One times three, those are balanced. Chlorines, one times the three, those are balanced. And then we have eight aluminums and one here. We left the aluminums last because we'll just put an eight right here, one times eight. That equals eight, and that doesn't affect anything else. This equation is balanced. So kind of two tricks here. One is if you have an element all by itself, it's best to leave it to last because all you're going to do is put a coefficient in front of it and that won't change anything else. And then the other thing was to flip the four and the three here to get these oxygens to balance. Sometimes that works well. This is Dr. V with the balanced equation for potassium perchlorate plus aluminum yields potassium chloride and aluminum oxide. Thanks for watching.